back now to the aftermath of the English riots. One of the unlikely and indeed unwitting celebrities created by the riots was Aaron Bieber. Biber, I should say, the 89-year-old barber whose shop was attacked in Tottenham. An online campaign to get him working again has raised over £30,000 now, but Aaron, who has been cutting hair since 1936, told me he's not interested in money, only in his health. Aaron Biber started off in his trade in the mid-1930s. My father bought me when I was 12. He told me he'd seen a few things since then, but even he was amazed when his little shop was broken into. They smashed the door, smashed the window, smashed everything. They took my kettle, they took my two cups, coffee, sugar. I, I can't believe it. They took sugar? Sugar, yeah, yeah, sugar, yeah. You would never believe it. Aaron cut hair until the war, when, on guard duty at the Tower of London, he met Winston Churchill. I was outside the Royal Mint with a spigot gun and a rifle. And old Churchill said to me, any parachutes come down, shoot the <laughs> So the people who attacked his shop got off lightly. So what do you think of the people who did this? What do you think? If I was in the army, I'd have put a bayonet through them. I wouldn't mess about. If you could talk to them, what would you say? You, couldn't, you can't talk to them people. I'm sorry to tell you. They've got no idea of how they've been bringing up. I was brought up the right way, to be good to people and say, Madam, Sir, years ago we, in the barber shop we used to call everybody Sir, and uh, you, you can't talk to them. It's yeah. lack of respect, is that the problem? Lack, not lack of respect, they're, they're criminals. They are criminals, I'm telling you. Why do you think these people who went on the rampage over the weekend, why do you think they did it? Who do you blame? They don't want to go to work. I've been working all my life since I've been a little boy. I've always worked, I love work. My wife, my father used to say, if you go to work, I brought my grave and cease. Don't want to, you know what that means? If you go to work, life is sweeter. And what about all this money that's been raised for you on a website? I couldn't care less if I've got nothing. The money don't make it. If you've got good health, you're a millionaire. I'm telling you. You've got good health, you can do what you like. So they haven't stopped you? They never stopped me. They never stopped me. I'll tell you that. 